Picture this. You're a young black boy growing up in London from around the ages of 14 to 18. You're seeing that your parents are financially struggling due to this cost of living crisis, and it's burning you inside, knowing how bad you want to help, but can't. One day, someone approaches you, and they say they can help make your family's financial struggles just disappear. And all you have to do is deliver some packages. But then one job turns into two, then three, and now you're trapped in an endless cycle because your family is at risk of being harmed. To you, it may just seem like a hellish nightmare, but the sad truth is, for some kids, kids like me, kids of my age, my race, and my ethnicity. It's not just a bad dream that we cannot awake from, it's our reality. Arguably, London's most dangerous problem is its knife crime. And although the lockdown in 2020 brought those death rates down, two years ago, in 2021, they rose to new heights. 30 deaths, that's the highest annual toll for teenage homicides, surpassing its previous peak of 29 in 2008. Over the last five years in London alone, there have been over 78,000 knife crime offences. And there's many different ways we can stop these situations from happening in the first place. I'm talking about youth clubs. They used to be around everywhere, like a safe haven. And now, like my grades, they're nowhere to be seen. <laughs> I knew someone who lost his life after getting stabbed. He was like the older brother that God never gave me the chance to have. He even taught me how to play basketball. But I don't blame the boy that killed him. He just needed help. And he is not the only one. All these nefarious acts could really be just a cry for help. But nobody is willing to listen. Now, I want you to picture this. A world where our children are no longer falling victim to these urban streets, whether it's the suspects or the victim. It sounds perfect, doesn't it? Well, if we start to refund these youth clubs and reopen these spaces, it could soon become a reality, our reality. There are problems and solutions. You've just heard mine, so tell me, what are yours? <laughs>